Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. And today is a very quick look at Eventide's new app, Undulator. Now, I think I've got every Eventide app for iOS. I love their apps. I love their interface. It has some really good features like the ribbon and stuff like that. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is just put on an instance of Ravenscroft Piano. That is being played by Polyface, which is a beautiful generative MIDI app that I've talked about before. Now, both of these apps are very heavy on the CPU, so that's nothing to do with Undulator. This Eventide is completely dry at the moment, so let's turn up the mix. So why is this a modulated tremolo? Because basically we have one LFO here, which is the LFO that is creating the tremolo effect. Tremolo is uh, changes in the amplitude. So vibrato has pitch changes, tremolo just changes in amplitude. So we've got an LFO that's doing all that good stuff. But then down here, we also can set another LFO to modulate the first LFO, and that's what makes it a modulated tremolo. Now, here I'm going to just stick on, because we got this nice ambient vibe, a bit of Stratosphere Cloud Reverb, really nice ambient reverb by Blue Mango. Love this reverb. And I've actually got a free code available to give away for this, so take a look in the comment section for the details. Basically, you need to subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell as well for notifications. Anyway, let's look at the Eventide go through how it works. So first we have a mix knob. So this is completely dry, no tremolo. And here we've got everything up as full as it can go. Here we control the depth and speed of the tremolo effect. Now, the speed, as you can see here, is currently synced, but it's not actually synced to the BPM, because if we look up here, I've got a BPM of 41. Here, I have set a BPM of 164. So why did I do this? Because I want the track to play slowly, but I want a faster tremolo effect. So that's one of the really nice things that the app has here, you can set this BPM manually. If it didn't have that, if it only had sync, you can hear that that would be the fastest tremolo setting that I could get on this particular track, and it's not fast enough for what I want. So it's brilliant, it has this manual setting, and we can actually click on that and, you know, type in a value and change it like that. Nice feature. We also have this fast and slow knob. Which I think maybe halves it. Sounds like it halves it to me. So you can just suddenly switch between faster and slower. And you can see here which one is active. This is a great little... I, I often wish that apps had this sort of Thing that could immediately let you jump to a musically pleasing speed change. Okay, great little feature. Now here we have the shape of the main LFO. A lot of options. You can see on not not all of the options have secondary LFO. The envelope doesn't. The envelope envelope and ADSR. I'm not sure exactly what the difference between them is in this particular setup, but basically they will be something like giving you more depth of tremolo with 
a higher amplitude of input, so louder sounds will notice, uh, trigger more noticeable effects. You can see also the ribbon. We can use the ribbon to modulate. The LFO. And, and then the speed is unused and the secondary LFOs are unused because everything is being determined by this. Okay, feedback. Obviously gonna to lead to more extreme effects. Spread is something related to detuning. It says something about detuning the delays, but it doesn't really mention how delays are involved in this, so that's a bit unclear to me. But you can hear the difference here. And then down here, we have the controls for the second LFO that modulates the, first, the main LFO. And so we can control the depth, the speed, the rate, the source. Let's take a look. So let's see, what do we get here? Let's choose, let's choose random. So the depth one will be like AM modulation and the speed one like FM modulation. And you can see here the rate is related to what we said in the speed section. And you can see here these arrows, you know, are showing you this is modulating this this is modulating this. And so this is modulating this, I guess. Let's put the depth and mix up higher. So now you can hear a lot more clearly how that's working. Here we have the input gain, the output volume. Okay, here is where we can tap the tempo. We can also do that when it's set in manual. In manual, we'll see the BPM. You can just turn the effect on and off with this button. And now let's look at how to use the ribbon. So if I click here and then drag here, I'm setting a start point. And if I click here and go over here, now I'm adjusting the end point. And so now when I move from left to right in the ribbon, any knob that has been set up like this will move between those parameters. I love the Eventide ribbon. And if we want to turn it off, we just do that. Put it back, you know, put the two dots together and click again here, and then we get rid of it. 
So there we go, everybody. A nice short one today for you. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe if you haven't, click the bell for updates, and give this video a like. And don't forget that I've got a copy of this available to win. Check the comment section for details. Thank you, everybody. Take care and good luck.